I'm Serenity and I'm gonna share in this video how Joe and I have adjusted to working from home all day while also having our 20 month old Della at home with us. We both work full time so we basically went from having full time childcare to each having six hours a day where we get all of our work, our chores, our meals, our self care done and we realized pretty early on that we needed to schedule out our childcare hours. So we put them in our work calendar so that everyone knows either not to schedule their meeting during that time when we have when we are the childcare or that if they do schedule a meeting during that time they might not have our full attention because we're going to be watching Della. The transition back and forth between parents was really hard for her at first and we realized, oh, well, the elaborate goodbye ritual we use when we leave the house, we need to start using that while we're at home and going to work. So it's mommy's going to work now, you know, hugs and kisses, and it really helps her with the transition back and forth. Also with the transition, you know, if I'm downstairs and she can hear me or see me or push into the doors, you know, open our doors, um, it just doesn't work. So we realized we needed to set up a place for me upstairs. So we are in our guest, guest bedroom right now and I ordered this really cool teeny tiny um, sit stand desk from Michaels, believe it or not, for a hundred bucks. It's the artist's loft and I really like it. I also went to get to the office and got my great ergonomic chair, my monitor and mouse pad and keyboard because, you know, sitting on the couch hunched over wasn't doing anything for my posture. And then the last tip is because I'm holding myself up in here, I really have to remember everything. So bring my coffee and my glasses and my lipstick for Zoom calls and my shirt for Zoom calls and, you know, my very important noise canceling headphones. Um, these ones are Aventry and came from Amazon for also for about a hundred bucks and I really like them. Now there have been a couple times when I've been on childcare and also needed to take a few calls. So I'm gonna share how I do that. The first way is before the call, put a lot of quality attention on her. So read books, play games, fill her up with that mama love so that she can feel a little bit more comfortable being by herself on her own more during your call. The second one, if it's especially if it's just an audio call, go for a walk with her. She loves riding around on her wagon or on her bike and it's a really easy way to get her calm outside and easy way to get me a few calls in. And then the third easy one is to make sure she has a snack, knows where her drinks are and all of that. There have been a handful of times when Joe and I have needed to be on calls at the exact same time. So we learned early on to schedule those during nap time if possible. And if not, we normally don't let her use screens much, but we do let her use a screen during that time. We have been letting her watch Little Baby Bum from Netflix, which is super boring, but she loves it. And then Yo Gabba Gabba on YouTube. My last set of tips are really how I'm managing my attitude during this crisis. So the main thing for me is that I've had to really lower my expectations. I'm not gonna get as much done at work. I pick and choose the most important things and move on. I'm not gonna have a super clean house. That's okay, at least there's no one here to see it. And I'm not gonna cook every single meal. We don't do that anyway, but we've been getting some takeout and get using some more convenient packaged foods. And this is just temporary, so I feel okay with that. And then the last thing is that I'm not gonna start anything new and hard. You know, the prospect of being home, I'm like, oh, I can do all these cool things. We decided to start potty training before we knew we weren't gonna have childcare, and it has proven to be extremely difficult. Another huge stressor on top of an already hugely stressful situation. So I don't recommend that. And then the first couple of weeks, the first week really that we were at home were, was really hard and super stressful. We're kind of getting into the flow and the routine. This last week we started figuring out what works for our family, which we're sharing here. And you know, the other thing is we're really trying to find the silver lining. We're trying to use this as an opportunity to connect more with each other, me and Joe, and to connect more with Della. And then to realize, you know, there's a way that we can make it more fun and to have some work-life integration. Hope this has been helpful.